Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Holly Wolf here and you're watching Wolf of the Wild. Today, I'm hopefully going to be transforming this area into a soon to be pumpkin patch. Woo! All right, so last year I did a bunch of really cute, sexy, spooky, oh my God, my Invisalign. Sexy, spooky Halloween shoots around this area and it was absolutely perfect. I was mowing the lawn last week and I had an idea because I've been struggling with where to put my pumpkins. I have a lot that I've seeded, love them so much. I'm gonna put some at my parents' house, but I thought if we can, Let's do a pumpkin patch here this year with some beautiful trailing vines up the fence in your yellows, your whites, your oranges, and create a beautiful spooky fall vibe again, but of course a lot different from last year. So this area does get filtered shade because of this tree, but this tree doesn't really full, like fill out too much. So I thought we would try to do a really cute pumpkin patch and have the pumpkins kind of trailing towards the sun and hopefully it looks amazing by the fall so I can shoot all of my you know spicy Halloween content. I tend to have a lot of creators over at Wolf Manor and we do a lot of content together here so the time is now to start planning for that months in advance but that's kind of how you have to do it right. In order to save money, I started things from seed. I don't have to buy as many pumpkins from the store when they jack up the prices in the fall. It's a win-win situation. So we're gonna go to town. I have these lilies that I'm going to take out because they need full, full sun. I'm gonna utilize them somewhere else. I've got beautiful cardboard and new earth that I'm gonna put down here, some really nice compost. And we're gonna seed a bunch of stuff. I have some trellises for vines. And we're just gonna kind of really try to create what will be the start of a pumpkin patch. So if you see JR, he's helping me today with some heavy lifting and shoveling. So he might be in and out of my video as well, but we're just gonna get right to it and see how we do. Let's go.
Okay, so sticking to the fall theme, I have some Pearly Gates Morning Glory and some Black Eyed Susan, some Vining Black Eyed Susan. So I've never used this variety of Black Eyed Susan before. And the Morning Glory I have, but not this color. I'm going to place a few seeds along the trellises, see if they kind of help grow the back. And of course, if any pumpkins or I have some butternut squash in here too. If they trail up, great, but I'm gonna try to let them trail out and reach towards the sun. So let's get these in.
All right, so for now we are done. The little pumpkin patch here. I've got a lot of pumpkins in. My dad was so kind to not clean up <laughs> sawdust that he made. So we layered a bunch of new organic earth, some cardboard, some more organic earth, and then some sawdust so that this area kind of prevents weeds from happening. And I have a few different varieties of pumpkins. We have a sugar baby, we have Tom Fox. I have some, ooh, what is the word I am looking for? Butternut squash and a few others. I also planted my vining crops above the wall. Hopefully they kind of take over and we create a little bit more beautiful greenery here, kind of mask the fence for the fall season. Also, I wanted to put some pumpkins over there, but the hostas are already fully in and I think it's gonna be way too shaded to even get them going to trail towards the sun. So I'm going to look into some beautiful self-watering like big boy planters. And I was thinking about stationing them around this area a little bit more towards the sun for some really beautiful depthy vibes. Again, in the fall, if I can make like beautiful trailing pumpkin planters i think that'd be super cool and have them in the foreground as we shoot i think that would be lovely so there were some really good companies i went to a congress which is the landscaping expo in the spring honestly late late winter <laughs> this beginning of this year and um, i'm gonna see if i can contact some of them and grab some planters Otherwise, we're gonna pick up some beautiful, big self-watering black planters. They're very sleek, unique. I have a few at my house in the front garden, but yeah, it'll be amazing. I'm so excited. And that way I could see if pumpkins work well in this corner or they work well in planters. I've never done either. So it's an experiment and hopefully it turns out okay and I get some beautiful shoots in the fall. I will keep you posted. Make sure you like and subscribe so you know when those videos will go live Woo, months from now. <laughs> gardening is crazy like that. A lot of gardening is planning super far in advance. And like I said, I want beautiful fall vibes. We have to start now in May. So yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well. I do tons of gardening content over there too. Bye.